business is heating up in Night's End as we covered Detective Comics issue 676 and Legends of the Dark Knight issue 62. Detective Comics issue is written by Chuck Dixon with pencils by Graham Nolan, inks by Scott Hanna, colors by Adrian Roy, lettering by John Costanza, and edited by Darren Vincenzo and Scott Peterson. Dixon also wrote the Legend of the Dark Knights issue, but we have uh, pencils by Ron Wagner, inks by Ron McCain, colors by Digital Chameleon, lettering by Willie Short, and is edited by Archie Goodwin and Stan uh, and uh, sorry. And is edited by Archie Goodwin and Jim Spivey. I think Archie might have been EIC at this time at DC. So hey, the boss man's on getting involved. Looks cool. We open with Nightwing and Robin rappelling into the Bat Cave. Their mission to plant some bugs so they can monitor Jean Paul. As they work, the two recap why Bruce chose Jean Paul over Dick. The two think they hear Azrael approaching, so Nightwing prepares to attack. Elsewhere, Azrael interrupts an arms deal while interrogating the merchant over where Lehi is, as he's once again tormented by the spirit of Saint Dumas. Back in the cave, Robin stops Nightwing from attacking Harold and Harold, in turn, gives them some info on the subway rocket so they know how he's getting in and out without using the Batmobile. In Gotham, Asriel interrogates a gang member from the arms deal about his contact. Bruce, in the mask of the... <sighs> Bat Tengu, is led by some ninja to the next disciple of the Armless Master for a battle in a very busy freeway. Well, less led and more driven like game. In the middle of the fight, he's attacked by yet another disciple who accidentally takes herself out, non-lethally, by getting her weapon caught on a semi. Somebody rolled a critical botch. The issue ends with Tim and Dick watching on their bug as Azriel once again argues with a unseen ghost of Saint Dumas. We pick back up in Legend of the Dark Knight issue with Azriel still in mid-argument while Dick and Tim go, who the fuck is he yelling at? Late we then intercut later on in the issue between Bruce fighting the disciple, or this issue's disciple, and Azrael's hunt for the gunrunners, which takes him to the Navy's shipbreaking yard. The fight with Azrael involves even an attack helicopter and a guy in power armor. Also, I'm pretty sure that Azrael's just, just straight up murking dudes now. And with Bruce, the issue ends with Azrael again absolutely killing the guy he's faced, or at least making it really look like he killed the guy while Bruce also seemingly kills this disciple he's fighting, as Dick and Tim, who've just arrived, look on in horror. Say it ain't so, Bruce! These issues are great. They put a lot of focus on the fights, which is kind of, I admit, while marching over them. But the fights are very well done and drawn. In particular, the battle on the freeway reminds me a lot of the climax of the later film, uh, Kung Fu Jungle, or Kung Fu Killer, depending on your market, starring Donnie Yen. I don't know if they read this story in when they were putting the movie together, but even if they had, it's a good concept and it's it works well on the comics page and it worked well in the movie. Honestly, it's probably easier to do it safely in the comics page um, and let you do stuff that would necessarily be feasible if you're trying to do even an optical compositing situation with um, actual actors on a road and um, compositing in uh, footage of motor vehicle traffic. The cliffhanger feels contrived. We, as the reader, know that Bruce isn't going to kill anybody. So this instead feels like a little bit of a Silver Age bait and switch. With, on the other hand, this is a good place to do that. We're bringing the storyline, bringing Batman, like the original Batman, bringing Bruce back into the storyline and putting him much more in the forefront and in the process, we're also, um, to a degree, it's still darkness going on here, but things are getting lightened up a little bit, as we saw in the last storyline with the back and forth with Nightwing and Robin, and in case, Night, uh, or rather, as I say, uh, Dick and Tim in the fight at the playground. So I appreciate that as like, hey, we're doing this little old school bait and switch here, and when... In the next issue, there'll be a reveal that, oh, no, he didn't kill the guy. He knocked him out or faked his, um, uh, faked this guy's death in some way so that uh, Lady Shiva would think he killed. Something like that. Next time, we switch perspective, perspectives, relatively speaking, 
um, in terms of what books we're, we're doing to Robin and Catwoman. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, Tossing me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.